Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new flea market video. This time I think it will be on the shorter side because I actually just went to one flea market and I, well it's two flea markets but I always go to the other when I also go to that one so it's actually for me just one. Uh, on a day that I actually didn't even like plan to go to the flea market because I actually just wanted to meet up with my friend and eat out Japanese but the restaurant we picked was like right at Boxhagner Platz and we happened to meet on a Sunday there so that it was flea market time so then I quickly went over LAV flea market and Boxy and um, yeah that's all what I found <laughs> Ooh, it started raining. <laughs> this is an original Rainbow Bride. Oh wow, she's huge, she's big. Um, Rainbow Bride, you guys. I didn't expect to find anything at that flea market because that's the one you find all of those hipsters with all of those cool fashions. And I have bought a couple of very, very cool fashion pieces. I actually shop there a lot for clothing pieces, but I very rarely find anything toy related. There's always a guy with um, action figures, but that's all. This was like a total surprise. These were vendors that I usually not over there. Those were like a, you know, like, Turkish family, something like that, which you actually more see over at other flea markets because this one is really like a, you know, cool hip girls and boys there. Ooh. Um, anyways, and she had this one, they had this box and I just peeked in because I'm usually not really into like huge baby dolls or something like that. But this one I am into. Okay, this is an original 1984 big size Rainbow Bride doll. Um, I don't have any Rainbow Bride dolls. I have two sprites and I have the horse, so uh, Starlight. And I have lots of cassette tapes. And as I listen to the cassette tapes in German, I have the German names better memorized. Sternschnuppe. Anyways, this is the main character. And um, this, uh, this toy line was actually created as a, um, a greeting card and also a TV show. Um, they always have the um, like uh, Hallmark marking on it, because Hallmark uh, used to like create the characters. Then they made the TV show, both was released in 84, although the copyright always says 80, 83, which also you can see here at the back. You cannot see right now, but there's 83 Hallmark, uh, although um, the TV show and then also the toys were not released before 84, so this is from 84. And um, Hallmark uh, licensed it to um, Mattel, so they were made by Mattel. They were the slightly smaller ones, which are better in scale with Starlight, so the horse. She's actually too big to ride the horse, so I would have wished for one that's a little bit smaller, but hey, you gotta get what you, what you find at the flea market, right? <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> she wanted 20 euro for the stall. And I actually knew that she didn't know what it is. It was just this, this general thing. Oh, it's a big thing. Uh, blah, blah, let's ask a high price. I was like, no. Maximum five. Like seriously, because she, she had no idea what it was. Uh, there were no really other toys. She no. Um, and she was like, mm, maybe 10. And then we haggled back and forth. And she even had to ask her mother because they were like a big family thing. Um, and then she was like nine and bam, and I said seven. <laughs> I got her for eight euro. Um, I don't know if that's a good price or not. She's in really good condition. So uh, not really dirty, a little bit here. Um, 
but I could wipe off the face everything. This rainbow here is completely still wonderful, so uh, not not like like whatever rubbed off or anything. She comes with her dress and also with her original bow. And this one uh, was around her neck and actually what uh, that was around her um, like hairstyle, but that's actually like another um, doll pantyhose or something, not belonging to Rainbow Bride. But so she is in very good condition. I don't see any flaws, any like, I don't know, um, like um, stains or nothing. So, um, but I can't really tell I can't, I, if this is a good price because some online, I see them go for like five euro. And then I see others go for 50 euro. Um, I think the smaller sizes are a little bit more wanted than the bigger ones. There were actually just three of those big ones, so the main character, Rainbow Bright, and two others. Uh, from the smaller scale ones, there were more. But like, as I said, I couldn't leave her behind. Like, I wouldn't probably not have gotten her for 20 euro, but like eight is totally fine for me. Um, yeah. I'm sitting here right now because um, I couldn't put up my whole table in that other direction today and it will be just a small haul. Um, but you, you cannot even see the table like here. I usually would put the stuff there and you would see it. So let's just, um, I don't know, like this. Ah. <laughs> Lay her down and you, you can't see all the time, the, the toys all the time. But let's get back to the flea markets. <laughs> hmm, this is one of the smaller, <laughs> lol, I don't know what they are called, tweens or something? Ooh, she has a very nice 60s outfit on. I bet this is her original outfit. She looks very cute. Ooh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I want to have that. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the backpack from the Nanana -na -na surprise? I don't know how you open that. Yeah, it's from Nanana -na -na surprise. Oh, she's even in there. Ooh, fancy. Wow. I can remember like last year or two years ago, I don't remember exactly when, one of my nieces wanting wanted one of them for Christmas. She got a black backpack, if I remember correct, with a cat. Hi, Mama. This is cool. I don't want to have that, it's too big, but like, wow. I might ask about these two. I think there's another box. Pumokel. <laughs> and you are Ken. Hmm. <laughs> Masha. Ooh, ugly. Even more ugly. <laughs> I mean, there are definitely some Barbies underneath. Probably no good ones left. Mycene. Oh my gosh, this is one of the mycene that can change the face. You have these but buttons at the back and it changes the face, the expression. This is so weird. Wow. It's 
stuff you love. This ugly giant head thing. Old, super old doll. Another old. What? Oh, this is a. This is a troll warrior, I think. Is that a troll warrior? It's very ugly. Hasbro 1992 yet. Or Battle Troll. Uh, Battle Troll or Battle Troll, I think. Mm. And this is a wrestler. It's also Hasbro, I'm pretty sure, but he's <laughs> clearly missing the head. <laughs> Some dinosaurs? No. <laughs> There's never be any Jurassic Park ones. Never. <laughs> yep, picked up all of those for uh, from the same vendor and um, Let's start. Very easy. This is just a nice hair clip. I love it. Because it's, you know, this iridescent pink that, you know, it looks exactly like one of my backpacks. And I use these hair clips right now all the time. Uh, I was a little bit <laughs> sneaky <laughs> and clipped it onto the doll and actually didn't pay extra for this one. So it was just like in the hair and then I asked for the three dolls. Um, which, let's start with this one first, it's not really a doll, um, it's a uh, battle troll. I always mix it up, is it troll warrior, is it troll force, is it battle troll, is it because <laughs> there were actually quite a lot of these uh, toy lines out in the early 90s. That's from 1992, it's from Hasbro, uh, those are called battle trolls, um, you know, they are essentially like the trolls that you, you know, you know, the colorful hair and um, but as the normal trolls they were always more marketed towards girls in the early 90s they were like let's make action figures out of them so different companies uh, had their try on them none of those toy lines were like hugely like successful most often they just lasted for like about one wave or something um, same with this it's made by Hasbro it's those like big chunky dudes they just have one point of articulation at their um, waist <laughs> um, and they are like representing different things like this guy looks like a viking but there's like i don't know uh, other characters that look like whatever like like a sports star like a footballer or like a pirate or like uh, I, I don't even know what they what they did military guys or like robots and all of that so um are they ugly? Yes, they are ugly. Why did I still pick it up? Because, you know, I have um, left so many boy toys at the flea markets already that I kind of recognized and um, then was like, no, but I'm not collecting them. I have also found um, battle trolls before and just left them. Um, but now I'm like in the mood of I like to have also for the boy toys of like my generation like one representation like of a toy line or something like in my little collection so um, this is now the dude the viking guy I think he came with like two accessories you know one axe and one other weapon um, and he will he's kind of in, in the statue that kind of will go with my more like street sharks like about this size and they are colorful and they are like just wacky and, and strange so I like that about them so just decided to pick it up today yeah something completely different I picked up a Mycene doll this time um, this is Kennedy from the Fab Faces line from 2006 so yeah we have toys here from all different uh, eras like we have an 80s toy this is 90s now we have 2000 so this is 2006 um, my scene was a um, doll line. I think I have showed you a lot of my scenes at flea markets and shops already because I find them quite often. Um, I like them. I have never decided to pick one up before like today. I mean, it's not today that I went was at a flea market, but um, 
because like I cannot collect everything but this is kind of the same mentality as I was thinking about like this having one example of a toy line doesn't hurt I can definitely find a space for her in my uh, collection and um, I generally like them they're made by Mattel so they are kind of in the line with Barbie but more as a competitor of brats uh, you I think you have heard about all of this like um, struggle with who invented the brats was it an employee from Mattel when he was actually working at Mattel who owns the rights or who copied who and blah 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 Mattel definitely copied kind of uh, the brats with this uh, toy line came out a little bit later in the early uh, 2000s and this one's from 2006 um, at first they also had Barbie as the blonde main character in that line you know there were also web series and there were computer internet computer game things and they were I don't know what it, it was actually a quite fleshed out line with lots of characters and um, also boy characters etc at one point they decided they want to get Barbie away from that line and they kind of changed the blonde character was not Barbie anymore it was Kennedy so that's her but still why did I pick up this doll now I mean yeah she has her original dress that's nice she didn't come with any of the accessories I just put them on because they look a little bit similar to her original accessories I don't have don't have shoes for her I just put her on Barbie shoes right now um, I decided to get her because she is the funniest like one like of, of all of those um, because of the face uh, fab faces this was a line of dolls of the uh, my scene line they had these strange buttons at the back this looks like already like what what is this <laughs> um, you control the face by this and weirdly enough this kind of works like can you see I'm just pushing one of the buttons now I'm pushing another button um, here is another ooh, ooh, and even the eyebrow so it's the lips, the mouth, the corners of the lips, and also the eyebrows that uh, you can kind of control with this. Ooh. <laughs> um, and another one here. Ooh, this doesn't work that well anymore, but like, mm, mm, this is like, I'm angry. Uh, this is like, <laughs> funny. I know she's doing like one eyebrow, this thing. This is, oh, this is this one. Huh? <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know, I could not leave her behind. This is like, I have no idea how well this will hold up. The face obviously is a little bit of a different material than usual faces. They have like this thing behind, this mechanism. Um, the body otherwise is normal other than she has these buttons um, her hair was like very very frizzy but I think I didn't even have to do like a whole like recurling this is still the factory curl I think it looks amazing um, the thing about the bre uh, breads is not the breads it's the thing about the mycene is they have the normal Barbie legs but they actually um, so they, they fit Barbie shoes but the shoes that actually came with this toy line they look more chunky they, they look like you put a whole, no, um, a whole other feet on them. So um, I don't have any of those because that now looks a little bit out of proportion because her head is really big and she looks so tall and everything. Um, but then yeah, she's these tiny shoes. Maybe at one point I will just come across some Mycene shoes, I'm pretty sure. So, um, but this is the real dress. And um, yeah. Now, there was even this line called like bling bling and all that stuff so um, they are so like mid 2000s with this you know glitter princess style but a little bit more on the you know bitchy side <laughs> um, yeah I like her although she looks so strange and yeah really from all generations this is a very very modern toy this is an lol um, not OMG, LOL uh, Tweens, that's what the line is called. I mean, she goes with the whole LOL thing. They are all these little tiny ones, the little, little sisters. They are the LOL um, surprise ones. The bigger ones are the LOL um, OMGs. And those are the middle-sized ones, um, the Tweens. I'm not collecting that line. I have one other LOL OMG. Um, and I didn't plan to get any more because this was like the thing like I have this one example of that toy line 
but I saw her and I like immediately liked her I don't I, I don't know it just was like kind of meant to be because like for example I also don't collect monster high but that like I don't know one day I found that one monster high that I really liked and I picked that one up so it's kind of the same um, I kind of prefer their faces and their way like the way they look over the um, rainbow high uh, dolls that are also now produced from the same uh, company um, MGA and I like those faces here kind of more I don't know she has this whole 60s vibe uh, over her look at these um, you know earrings with the flower pattern and then these little this little suit um, and these uh, what whoops these tights and these shoes I mean the shoes look very modern and everything but the whole like vibe is very 60s uh, I forgot what she is called uh, let's check ah, Goldie twist so yeah it's it's you know twist it's very 60s, so that, that makes sense. Um, I restored her curls. They came out a little bit too big and poofy, but I like it. She, her curls, um, I mean, this is her original hairstyle, but her curls were a little bit more hung out, a little bit less strong, but yeah, anyways. Um, she has the winged eyeliner and the typical, you know, uh, bottom lashes, very pronounced, like twiggy a little bit. Um, those dolls are really like oh my goodness these tiny hands they even have um, a manicure on it like wow she's not complete though she actually would have another um, fashion piece a like raincoat some parts are these see-through some parts would be um, green and also a green purse I'm not even that mad because this looks so cute I don't need a raincoat over it to be honest um, Her hair is amazing. I also love how, how she has these like archy, not, not, not archy, I mean they are really straight, these super straight eyebrows and um, this whole color scheme and she's just so extremely cute and she actually came with one of these white bows. Look, this is not the correct one, but yeah. Um, and now I have an example of an LOL tweens. a lot of cassettes already from him but he brings new cassettes every now and then so it's always worth a dig if he has new stuff I have already gone through all of that there was nothing for me um, this looks cool like beauty yeah noch nicht here's another one from from Benjamin Blümchen a really old one as a, like a Christmas Christmas version. I have one other. I might because I'm, I don't know. I'm into Christmas stuff, especially around Christmas. And Christmas is not far away, actually. I mean, yeah, a couple of months. But Let's see if there's anything else, Wendy. Something else, also Christmas. Oh yay! I'm missing this one. I'm missing. I had it when I was little, but it's not in my collection nowadays anymore. <gasps> this is when uh, I cannot even explain, but fire on Lindenhöhe. That's where, like, oh my goodness. I have that one. <gasps> There's a pony cassette tape. There's a pony cassette. Oh my goodness. Focus, focus. <gasps> Do I have this one? It's also Christmas. Um, it's all Christmas stuff here. <laughs> oh. I don't know, do I have that one? I might have that one. Cannot 100% remember, but maybe not. If I have it, I have not listened to it. I mean, the cassettes are pretty inexpensive here, so... I don't know, should I grab Benjamin Blümchen? Because actually, around Christmas time, I should listen to a couple of Christmas episodes, right? Benjamin Blümchen is very famous in Germany. I have listened to cassettes maybe when I was little. It was never my favorite and I'm not really collecting them nowadays. But Christmas, oh, what about this Christmas one? Mickey and Friends? Those are just songs? No. Tick, Trick, Donald, 
Daisy. Okay, ja, das ist... Maybe not. But I think these three I might grab. I always find something here. Always. Watch out these. Oh, this is baby blocks back. They look similar from the side if you compare it to Wendy. But yeah. Just the same company doing them. Perfect! It's always the same guy, but he brings new stuff all the time. It's not that he always just has the same and one day he will be sold out. No, he always gets new stuff and this time I found a My Little Pony cassette. But you know what? I have it already. <laughs> I was absolutely not sure about it. Um, it's the uh, Christmas episode. Um, and I kind of remembered the cover, but I absolutely couldn't remember listening to a Christmas episode. Yeah, you know what? It's not really Christmassy, this episode. It's winter and they have to get the presents back that were stolen from Santa. But it isn't, it, the, the whole um, like um, story isn't really co feeling Christmassy. It doesn't feel like cozy or anything. Um, he actually told me if I ever like pick up a double from him. I can actually bring it back to him and exchange it for another one. I don't know if I want to do that because it's a My Little Pony G1 item that I found out in the wild. Maybe I just want to keep it. I have the other one. Um, this one is even slider, slightly in a better condition because these, um, these pony cassettes come with um, these fold out booklets a little bit and there's always one pony that you could color in. And this one is not colored in. I have the other one that's actually a little bit ugly colored in. So I could keep this one and get rid of the other one. Or for now, I just keep them. I actually don't want to get rid of something that I found at a flea market that's G1 My Little Pony. Um, and I picked up two more cassettes because when you pick up three, then you just pay five euro at this guy. It's very, very good, I think. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy about this one. I was missing this one. I'm a huge like Wendy cassette fan, you could say. I was as a child. I love them. I have back most of my original ones from my childhood. Mm, I, I, I had this one. This is when um, her home, like where, like the ranch where she is, where she lives, like burns down before they get the new one. This is a very exciting and important episode. And for whatever reason, it's not in my like original collection anymore. Um, now I found it at a flea market. Ah, I'm so happy about this one. Feuer auf Lindenhöhe. And then I decided to pick another Benjamin Blümchen one up. Mainly for the reason because it's a Christmas episode. Benjamin Blümchen als Weihnachtsmann. So Benjamin is this elephant and in this episode he plays the Santa Claus. So um, this is a really old one. It's from 82. So you can see it from, from this artwork. Benjamin Blümchen artwork changed over the time. So that was not the one that I knew from my childhood. I wasn't even a big Benjamin Blümchen fan, but anyways. Uh, this is from, nine, uh, as I said, 82. This is from 86, this one here, or seven. 87, could also be 86, 87. And this one is from 95. Four, five, six, ninety-six. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so we have stuff from the early eighties, mid eighties, mid nineties. We had stuff from the two thousands, from like one year ago. This is a very new doll, so she was just released. I don't know. I think this year or last year. So she's still on in the in the toy stores. You can get her for twenty-five euro or something. Uh, early 90s and early 80s and um, well I didn't even say what I paid for this bundle here um, I could get her down to 10 which I think is a good price for all these 
for these three together because her first price was also 20. So that was the day of starting at 20 and getting uh, the sellers down to a good price. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit shorter video with not a lot of footage because as I said, I wasn't even planning that day to go to flea markets. So thanks a lot for watching. See you real soon and may the toys be with you. Bye.